Hello everyone and uh, welcome in this new video. Today I want to talk about Spa and the first race back after the summer break. What are we going on for the second part of the Formula 1 season? But please I always make sure, as always in English, make sure that you subscribe, you like, you comment so I can read what you guys are saying and I can uh, answer, I guess, the questions. Right, so this season has been pretty uh, pretty exciting in the first part. It was a big fight between Ferrari and Red Bull. I must say over the last few races, Ferrari really didn't get it right. Um, and Red Bull is not making any mistakes. So Red Bull has got a very fast car. Ferrari has been making some very interesting strategy calls. Uh, didn't have quite the pace, didn't have the lock neither. But all of that allowed really Red Bull and Verstappen to take the lead uh, and a big lead right now. Uh, even Perez being second on the championship, almost 100 points behind. That's a four race win in a row. So we can say that, that Verstappen has got a really good hand on the, on the second world championship. At Ferrari, they need to get step up their game. They need to come back into it. They need to, yeah, just, uh, just make sure that they don't make any mistakes, they don't make any strange calls and they clinch that, at least that second place in the Drivers' Championship. So summer has been quite exciting in terms of Mercato with uh, Sebastian Vettel announcing his retirement, Alonso announcing his move from Alpine to Aston Martin, Oscar Piastri saying that he hasn't signed anything with Alpine, he's going to McLaren, Danny Rick uh, announcing that he's parting where with McLaren, Mick Schumacher announcing that he's not anymore with the Ferrari Driver Academy. So quite a lot happening right there and very difficult to get a clear picture. It's very open right now. I can't really tell you what's gonna happen, but there's definitely a lot of moving chairs and a lot of things that could uh, happen in the very near future. So no, if we talk about first race, uh, Post vacation, post holidays, uh, Spa Francorchamps, clearly Max Verstappen, Red Bull, there, and the rest there. Different league, uh, very impressive race from Verstappen. I actually had put him winning the race before, after quali. I just knew he had the pace, as I said, Ferrari struggled. Mercedes coming back a little bit. Obviously, the qualifying pace wasn't there, but the race pace was getting better and better, now, which was good to see. Very strong Albon, P10 with the Williams. Very fast in a straight line, not so fast in the corners, but fast enough on the straight and in key moments just to stay ahead of everyone else, which was very good to see. The clash between Alonso and Hamilton with Lewis, you know, Lewis saying that yes, he made a mistake. I didn't really like Alonso's radio. I know the heat of the moment, no one is perfect, and I'm the first one not to be perfect for sure. But I just think that driver's journey, we can do a better job during our radio communication. I don't think Lewis is an idiot, at least not. He's not an idiot racing a car. He's been seven time world champion. He's made some really good moves. So, yes, didn't quite like that. That one, uh, Ocon scoring points, Alpin beating McLaren for fourth, is it fourth? Yes, yeah, fourth in the Constructor Championships, so that was pretty good. Gasly scoring points. Albon, as I say, is pretty good. A bit disappointing on the Haas side, that Spa weekend. Ferrari, yeah, just a bit off and a bit unlucky on, on uh, Leclerc. Why did they try to go for fastest lap? It was such a risky move at the end of the race and Charles made a mistake, uh, got a five second penalty for spinning through the pit lane, lost P5. I mean, that's, that's just another way to lose an easy point. I don't think they, uh, it was just too on the line to do that call. So very surprising. Uh, so is there is there any more suspense for the rest of the championship? Well, as I say, having P2 and P3 in the driver's championship gonna be interesting. See if Mercedes can pull off a win before the end of the year. Verstappen seems to have it well under control with Red Bull. Uh, masterclass, nothing to say there. But it would be interesting to see if Ferrari can uh, get back to a better place in terms of strategy calls and setup and pace and just yeah um, to at least finish on a very high and uh, give us hope that in 2023 they can learn from everything they've done wrong this year also everything they've done right but you want to learn from your mistakes and, and step up and uh, give us that championship that we're all dreaming of which will be Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari all of them fighting for uh, the world championship constructor and driver. So yeah, um, that's all what we want to dream for. So please, as always, make sure that you ask me a question. We're going to Zonvold this weekend, Max home. Anyone is gonna only see orange in the grandstands. So let's see what Max can do there with those banking and that, that beautiful track. And then uh, off to Monza, the Temple of Speed. So uh, two races in a row. Uh, let's see who comes winner of those uh, first triple later.